Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Posvalo from Curval.com and uh, today I'm going to show you another way to build KPIs with colors in your Power BI reports. There are a lot of ways to do KPIs in Power BI, none of them are like what you would expect or what you are accustomed with uh, Excel, but uh, you can use uh, symbols like I showed you in a previous video. This is one way you can use uh, from the Microsoft uh, Custom Visuals Gallery uh, uh, KPI indicator, if you like that. Or you can even use Microsoft's own KPI visual, which is here. I prefer the Excel style KPIs, and this is what you see here. Um, I'm going to show you in this video how to do exactly that, how you can have um, your favorite KPI icons back into Power BI. So let's start. So as usual, we're going to use our Northwind uh, database uh, or data source. For those of you that are new to the channel, uh, I have a video explaining how to access that data source and a link in the description box. So you can follow that if you want. Otherwise you have this file for download, so you can just check it out. What we're going to do is create those KPI icons that we want to display with our data. The data I have here is uh, product name and total sales like a very very common case and let's say that we would like to have a green dot for sales over i don't know ten thousand, and then a red one for sales below just a simple case so you can see how it's done so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the data in our order details table that's where we have the total sales and then we're going to create a custom column. We can call it KPI levels. And then we're going to say if the total sales is bigger than thousand, then write a one, otherwise write a two. So what we're basically doing, we're classifying our data. So here we have ones and twos, depending on the value that is uh, for that we have for the total sales. Okay, so what we need to do now is substitute this one and two for an image. The first thing we need to do is to find the image, right? Um, so let's go and do that. I have found in this icon finder site, uh, make sure you choose the free ones, it would be not fair to, to take the premium ones. Uh, but uh, here you have a lot of icons, uh, pick one. And then we want to have the URL for that one, right? So copy image address, we go back to Power BI. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Power Query and we're going to create a new table. Here we're going to call it key one and two. And then here we call it icon URL. And then here we paste the icon, right? The, the address to the icon, and then we click OK. So I, I have already a KPI table that I've done exactly the same way. Uh, I have the icon key, the icon URL, and then I have the icon description and icon color. This is to know what this icon URL is. So I have an up arrow green, a down arrow red, a button cross red and green and then a circle red and green and then some icons uh, icon keys so let's import that into our model and 
we have to remember to do the icon URL. It has to be an image URL, right? Otherwise, the images won't display. We need to do another thing. We need to connect our KPI levels with our icon key, right? They have to be related because when they are related here now, I'm going to show you, we put in the levels and now because there is a relationship between all the details in KPI, I can actually put the icon URL and it should show. So we said uh, red arrow, green arrow, one or two, and this is what it's showing. So we don't need to show KPI levels anymore. So here we have it. Let's say that we want to have the dots instead. So what we need to do is we go back to, no, sorry. What we need to do is we go back to the order detail table here and to our calculated column, and instead of one, two, we say we want three and four. And we have the other icons. Or we say we want five and six. So what you can actually have is a, a library of icons, the same way I've created here. And then you can use the icons as you like. So if you're going to do that, perhaps you don't want to have this table built in into Power BI, but maybe you want to have an Excel file that you use for all your reports. Or you save this as a template. So together with your calendar, you always have this available in every time you need the uh, icons. The last thing I'm going to do is uh, we want to be able to filter by the icons. So I have imported a uh, custom visual that allows us to do that. Um, let's see, we need to add the, the image down there the color in there. And then here we are going to get the code PI levels. So, so now when I click on red, filters red, when I click on green, filters green. Nice, isn't it? Okay, so this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, let me know by liking it. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, just let me know either here on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish the videos every week, including uh, DAX Fridays, where we go through DAX measures every single Friday. Have a great evening. Bye.